let's talk in this lecture let's talk about the basking equation um, the bas basking equation is an equation that basically relates your uh, fatigue strength to your number of life cycles uh, is basically s is equal to a times n over b uh, that's the most general form of this equation and how do we handle this equation is very easy because your a remember this is a log log plot. So if I want to solve for B, um, if I wanted to solve for A, right, I could say that A is going to equal to S divided by N over B, right? If I had B, I could do this. Now, I could also do this. If I want to find B, I could actually uh, take the log on one side, take the log on the right hand side and this will equal to uh, log A plus B times log N and then I can subtract this this is log S minus log A divided by log N is equal to B or simply this is going to equal to log S divided by A divided by log times N that would be a B so if you knew your A you knew all this you can find your B like this now when we're going to plot for plotting purposes right uh, what we typically have is we have two S, <clears throat> S1, S2, uh, and this S, uh, they are the same plot, same material. So this will be N1, N2 over B. Okay, and then from here, what I could do is I could divide these two and say S1 divided by S2 <clears throat> is going to equal to A1 over B a and 2 over B and I can cancel A and that will give me N1 divided by N2 to the bth power so I can take log on both sides now and if I take log on both sides uh, if I take log S1 divided by S2 will actually equal to B times log of N1 divided by N2. <clears throat> so now I could solve for B and then B is equal to log of S1. Um, let, me, let me move this here. Um, S1 divided by S2 divided by log N1 divided by N2. Uh, doesn't matter how you do this, you can flip it, but if you flip it, there's just a minus sign and there's another minus sign there. So you could do it either way and should give you exactly the same answer. Um, N2, N1. So if I had my B, then I can just use this equation to find my A, right? then I could say A is equal to any of these uh, and I could say uh, S1 let's say divided by N1 over B uh, so that's how you will find the values of A and B now for plotting purposes you will have several plots right for the traditional plot you will do something like this and you want to do from first segment is segment number one and then for segment number one you would say S1 is equal to SUT segment number two is equal to SF segment number two that is this segment uh, S1 is equal to SF S2 will be SE or as n depending on the case and from here you will find that a and b that's called 
A1, B1. Um, and then from here, you will find uh, A2, B2. Okay? And remember that this is just this. So these are the different values. Uh, this is SF, this is SUT, this is SE. Now for, and this is number two. And for the traditional, for the conservative approach, uh, what we do is we have a SUT, uh, and then we have SE or SN, which is to a straight line, right? So, you know, the, this is the traditional approach. This is the conservative approach. Let's call this number three. For number three, then S1 will be SUT. S2 will be uh, SE or SN, depending on the case. And from here, you can find an A3 and a B3. Okay, so this is how you actually handle these treatments for these equations. And that's how we use the Baskin equation.